I kind of want to brush my teeth now. Hey, sterile processing professionals, Brandon the Sterile Guy here, and today we're going to talk about biofilm. Mm -mm. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. So why is biofilm important? Well, biofilm is a substance that protects large colonies of bacteria that helps it to stick to inanimate objects or instruments, which can then be introduced into a patient and cause really bad infection or even really bad complications and even death. A patch of biofilm can actually prevent steam or hydrogen peroxide or ethylene oxide from penetrating through that substance to destroy the bacteria. A patch of biofilm making it inside of a patient's wound can be extremely difficult to treat. Studies have even shown that biofilm covered bacteria have the ability to be 1500 times more resistant to antibiotics than bacteria itself. I don't know about you, but that sounds pretty freaking scary. So knowing we could be dealing with a super dangerous thing, you might be asking, what is biofilm and how do we prevent it? So biofilm comes in many forms in many different places. There was a specific biofilm I remember from my childhood that actually provided an opportunity to have a lot of fun. When I was a kid living in Arizona, we used to go to this place called Slide Rock State Park. So the rock underneath the moving water was very slippery and slimy and allowed us to have this really awesome slip and slide down the creek bed. That slippery, slimy stuff was biofilm. It's just like when you've tried to cross like a shallow creek or river and you're slipping on those rocks with all the green stuff, um, that is also a biofilm. As you can see from this picture, a lot of scientists study different biofilms from rivers and creeks. Other biofilms include the nasty stuff that grows around your sinks at home, in your toilet, or even your decontam sinks. Another biofilm, even grosser, is all that plaque on your teeth. I kind of want to brush my teeth now. So there's a lot of different kinds of bacteria, protists, and fungi that secrete a substance that not only protects them and helps them to survive, but actually is sticky enough to secure them to a surface so that they can be protected as well. This protective film we call biofilm is called extracellular polymeric substance or EPS. It's basically made up of sugars, proteins, and nucleic acids. Do you remember those stretchy hand things that you got from the little quarter things as a kid? It had the long, the long uh, string or whatever, and you could slap it across the room and grab something. So think of it kind of like that. The bacteria or fungi or protists create this substance, cover themselves with it, and that stuff is really sticky. And then once that sticks and the bacteria is secure and it's safe, then it divides and it divides, and so on, and so on. I think you get the point. And if you recognize that movie reference I just did, be the first to name that movie in the comments down below, and I will give you a code for a free practice exam from the Etsy shop. Speaking of that, if you are studying for certification exams, you need to check out the Etsy shop where you can get everything you need to study for the CRCST, the CHL, CIS, CER, or even the ones from CBSPD because it's all the same content. So now that we know that biofilm is very dangerous when it comes to surgery, and we understand what it is, now we need to understand the best way to prevent it. Proper dosing of enzymes and detergents along with proper temperature range is extremely important in any cleaning and decontam. But when it comes to biofilm, the two most important things are friction from cleaning and then keeping instruments dry after decontam. I say friction is important to biofilm, but honestly, friction is important to all instrumentation when they're going through decontam. So you need to be using those brushes. You cannot take your instruments, throw them in the washer disinfector, and just expect that that's gonna completely clean them. You must hand wash them. You must scrub them. No cutting corners. And then once those instruments are cleaned and disinfected and out of decontam, they need to be dry. 
not just because sterilizers and everything say it must be dry when it goes in, but because if instruments are sitting in puddles of liquid, they're just taking that bacteria and allowing those bacteria the prime environments to start creating biofilm and attaching themselves in little patches to instruments. Not to mention moisture damages instruments over time. Hence is the reason I don't like the one tray, but that's up to you. Well, that's biofilm in a nutshell. Easy to clean, but extremely dangerous if not prevented. Any topics or videos you wanna see, put them in the comments down below. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get the future videos and I'll catch you in the next one.